Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. If you're new here, my name is Paulina. This channel is all about beauty. Uh, we talk about fragrances, makeup, skincare. We do some unboxings uh, and a little bit of vlogging as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing. Okay, so uh, welcome again uh, to my monthly empties video. Uh, so today I'm going to show you all the products I uh, used up in April. Oh my god, I'm just I'm just losing my uh, sense of time. Yeah, it was April, right? So all the products I used in April. Uh, and yeah, let's just start. Okay, let's start with my hair products because they're just the closest to me. Uh, I kind of like grouped them in categories because it's just I just found it a little bit easier to talk about things. Anyway, hair products. I have three of them. Two of them are actually elasticizer, so I'm not really like I'm not doing anything new here, right? So this is the uh, 40 mils, like the tiny elasticizer. That's pretty much one go for me. And then we have the coconut breeze one. Uh, that actually smells lovely. So yeah, we have that. Uh, next up, we have um, a product by Polish brand Anven. I uh, tested that brand recently. This is um, a grape and keratin hair mask to like medium porosity hair and so that's how it looks and it has this gorgeous great scent it smells pretty lovely uh so yeah i really like that one i really liked it um i love testing new hair masks um and hair conditioners i'm not like super excited about shampoos to be honest like i don't really see much difference i could probably just wash my hair with soap and that'll be all right but obviously this is not a good advice for like uh, for you guys because I know like for some of you it's very important what type of shampoo you're using so yeah just take it with a grain of salt but yeah <laughs> uh, this one is actually really good so I'm always always happy when I discover like a new really good mask okay that's that uh, let's move on to the body category so we're going to start with this SBC set. Uh, this is Glycolic Resurfacing Serum and Hyaluronic Gel Concentrate. The serum is for your body. The uh, Hyaluronic Gel Concentrate can be used on your face and body, apparently. I did use it on my body. Like whenever something is for your face and body, I use it on my body. That's, that's my general rule. Uh, so I uh, bought this as a kind of like a set I think there was also like salicylic acid wash which is perfect if you like have some like acne problems on your like maybe back or the cottage I don't really have um those problems or at least I don't have them anymore maybe when I was like a teenager but at this point obviously it wasn't really something I needed so I just gave it like the, the shower gel I think Robert used it up uh, and these were in my collection for a bit and then I just uh, rediscovered them uh, this spring uh, I felt like my skin was a little bit like rough after winter and I do exfoliate on a regular basis I moisturize my skin but it's still kind of like need a little bit more of, like that of those TLC so this actually did the job uh, the glycolic acid serum was uh, slightly kind of exfoliating you just use that one first and then you use hyaluronic acid on top of that um, usually you use hyaluronic acid and then like a serum and then put some something on top of that but this is not a serum this is like a gel concentrate so I think that's the that's the reason so yeah this one definitely I could definitely recommend uh, and if you are struggling with um, acne on your body I think with a salicylic acid wash this could actually work perfectly okay moving on we have a little bit of rituals this is ritual of Jing um, calming foaming shower gel I love these like shower foams they're just so gorgeous and I think there's something very satisfying with this kind of like little bowl of foam that kind of grows when you just spray it on your um, hand and I don't know I just love these and I think rituals products they just smell amazing I think I don't think there's anything I don't like no, I think there's one thing I don't like, but I don't remember what the name of that was. Yeah, there's something I don't like, one of them. Anyway, never mind. This one actually was very lovely. <laughs> what else do we have? Uh, next up, we have some um, uh, pillow spray by Feather and Down with calming lavender and chamomile essential oils. And this is perfect for those of you who don't really like those classic kind of um, sleeping sprays because it smells a little bit different. This gives you a little bit of like this kind of powdery like a baby powder kind of vibe it's not too heavy on anything it's not too heavy on lavender it's not too spa like it's more like calming uh, but i think in more approachable way like not everybody loves those like spa strong kind of essential oil scents this one is a little bit more like toned down so yeah and also it's very like uh, inexpensive so that's good i actually like that one uh next up we have some uh, sol de janeiro rio dio this is aluminium free deodorant 
yeah I really loved it it smells gorgeous it smells like the bomb bomb cream uh, it protects you from like, sweating um, if you're interested in what it contains it does contain citric acid ester papaya enzyme coconut oil mango seed butter so yeah amazing but it was actually really good it's uh, cruelty free um, and vegan friendly so you know and it just smells so beautiful it's like it's literally like empty like yeah but I, I just I, I loved it and I already repurchased it so if you're wondering whether I'm repurchasing uh, repurchasing something or not this is already repurchased in my collection and the last product in my collection I'm just holding it like that because it's like all dirty because it's like a coffee scrub so this is upcircle face scrub and it's in my body category because honestly I can't really imagine how anybody could use this on their face this is like your proper coffee scrub but in a kind of creamy formula so I kind of appreciate the fact that uh, it's not just coffee because the coffee scrubs are super messy so this one the fact that this this is in like a creamy formula it kind of keeps it more contained right uh, but at the same time it's definitely too strong for your face or for my face at least i wouldn't use it on my face so this one is with herbal oils um there is one that's floral there is one that's citrusy the citrus is my favorite one because it smells a little bit like terish chocolate uh this one probably my least favorite one it has like this kind of a like, strong herbal scent uh not too amazing but at the same time it does the job so yeah uh i like it but I wouldn't use it on my face for sure. Okay, so now time for skincare. So I'm going to start with this one. This is Plenair Skin Frosting Deeply Hydrating Mask. This is how it looks. And to be honest, I'm not a fan. Uh, probably because this is literally like a frosting. So you apply on your face and it just it's just heavy and really difficult to like wash off it's like proper frosting right uh so this is the reason why i didn't like it like it just made like everything messy even the cloth i was using to remove this from my face it was just all like so like sticky and uh, no i just didn't do not like the formula of it um other than that i mean it didn't do anything uh bad to me it's hydrating but i mean this is something i would definitely i wouldn't repurchase because of that formula, so that's for sure. Uh, next up we have uh, two products by Cloud51. This is day and night cream from one of the advent calendars, like the luxury advent calendars I got last year. And these are, I mean, they smell gorgeous, right? They feel gorgeous on my face and I kind of wanted to love them, but there is one problem I have with these. And first of all, I mean, uh, I do really like to layer my skin um, care. I do really like to apply some like serums and then my moisturizer. With these, they only work if I apply them on my like on like a clean skin. Like there's nothing that could be like under it, because if I just apply even like the lightest serum under it, it will just kind of roll on my skin, like roll up on my skin, which that that's not really a nice feeling, you know. That's not how I want to experience uh, my products and. That was a little bit annoying, to be honest. Uh, forget about like wearing makeup on top of that. It didn't really work for me. So uh, yeah, as much as I kind of, I, as much as I really enjoyed the scent, I really like the formula on my face. It kind of annoyed me on so many like uh, days. I really had to remember to apply this on a cleansed skin, nothing, nothing underneath it. Uh, then it was actually all right. But like anything else, under it and it was just super annoying like you could just you could just literally see that like, rolling on my skin such a weird thing i don't know why I've, this is the first time something like that ever happened to me but it is what it is um that's that actually makes me happy because i don't really have to even think of repurchasing it because obviously these are not cheap right okay next up we have something that looks like a perfume bottle but this is a toner this is a refreshing energizing tonic uh from the brand that's um Lucia Magnani. I'm not really sure. I just tried to Google it and it seems to be an American brand. So that just, that just that doesn't really solve anything for me. Um, but um, yeah, it looks like a perfume bottle. It was like a very pleasant kind of toner. It has this very gentle kind of natural scent to it. So I really enjoy this one. Okay, next up we have something by Medicaid. This is Hydrate B5 Liquid Rehydration Serum. So a hyaluronic acid product. I use some form of hyaluronic acid every single night. So 
yeah, that was good. That was good. But like with hyaluronic acid, to be honest, I don't really see that much difference between like particular products. Uh, usually they work in a very similar way to me. So I can't really tell you that this one was like just changed my mind completely. And I just feel like I'm only going to use this hyaluronic acid from now on because it's not really the case. For me, hyaluronic acid serum is a hyaluronic acid serum. And to be honest, even the cheapest one from The Ordinary works to me, very similarly to those like super pricey ones from Dr. Barbara Stern. But that's just me, right? Uh, I liked it. Uh, would I repurchase? I mean, no, I'm probably just going to use up the, the other hyaluronic acid products I have in my collection. Okay, next up we have some Sunday Riley. This is CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. Lovely, smells amazing. Um, uh, it has like, a, like a, almost like an orangey, citrusy kind of scent. Uh, I loved it. Uh, also, if you kind of, if you, if your skin does not really tolerate vitamin C that well, uh, having a cream instead of a serum is a good idea because you can put like one additional layer between this and your skin and, um, it will kind of like dilute it a little bit for you. So that's a perfect solution for those of you who don't really tolerate vitamin C that well. So all in all, very good product. The only mm, problem, the only thing worth mentioning here uh, that's not positive uh, would be that I do prefer to have my vitamin C in the form of a serum. Now that my skin tolerates vitamin C quite well, I prefer to have it a bit closer to my skin, but that's the only thing. Other than that, I really loved it. Um, I pretty much love anything by Sunday Riley. If I ever find a product that I'm not like super happy with, I'll just tell you. I'll make a video about it because that would be like amazing. Okay, um, next up we have something by Vis, Vis Viva. This is Barrier Repairing Repair Cleansing Balm. Uh, and uh, well, I... I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it was all right. It does remove makeup, okay? Because that's not always the case, right? I tried this like super expensive um, balm, face balm once, and it didn't remove anything. Like pretty much any makeup whatsoever. Like forget uh, kind of like waterproof mascara. It just didn't remove anything. This one removes makeup quite well. I wasn't really sure about the formula though. It was, I don't know why. I think it was a little bit like too not balmy enough for my liking but that's just like a very personal preference kind of thing it did the job for sure uh, i think i slightly prefer the kind of um balmy mm, formula that you can find in elements let's say or uh or emma hardy cleansers uh, this one yeah and i also it, it, it's fragrance free but it has a little bit of like a scent to it and that was probably one more thing I didn't really love, but it wasn't, it wasn't like anything too strong. So uh, don't let this kind of discourage you. Uh, try it out and uh, see for yourself if you like it or not. For me, it's all right. But yeah, I still didn't change my um, top three in uh, the cleansing balms category. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, we have some retinol. So this is Jordan Samuel Skin Retinol Treatment Oil. So that was that one was quite interesting because this is something that you apply as your last step in your skincare routine. So you apply this on top of your moisturizer. Um, yeah, I mean, usually you will go for something that will be like a, in a form of serum or like a booster. So you mix it with your uh, serum or cream. And this one is like your uh, final step in your skincare routine. You can use this in the morning as well. So in your AM skincare routine. So that's interesting as well. I definitely enjoyed using this product, but I have the same problem as with Sunday Riley one. Uh, I kind of prefer to have my retinol a little bit closer to my skin or like much closer. Uh, so again, this is not probably something I would repurchase. Uh, I'm even more particular when it comes to like retinol in that area than with vitamin C because like retinol is what's supposed to make my skin look younger in general. So reverse those like aging process. So that's important, right? I uh, liked it, but not something I will repurchase. Okay, I don't even know where that went. Anyway, uh, next up we have a live um, probiotic balancing mask by Algenist. This is how it looks. This one was actually quite cool because it's green inside. I don't know if you can see, but it was green. And when you applied it on your skin, it just turned pink. So that's cool, right? <laughs> I liked it, I liked it. Uh, there's nothing really that I can tell you about it that's like uh, out of normal. It was like a really nice, pleasant mask to use. Uh, I enjoyed using it and that's that. Yeah, cool. Uh, okay, two last products in this category. So we have a Moravica Queen of Hungary Mist. 
Um, this was like a special edition kind of like packaging. Uh, this is actually really pleasant. It's very pleasant to just refresh your face. You can use it all over your makeup because this is like a proper mist, okay? I do appreciate when a mist is like a proper mist. Uh, there were like so many mists I've, mists I've tried uh, that they just literally like sp they felt like spitting on my face, literally. Uh, and this is like a proper gentle mist. It won't really hurt your makeup. It, don't, it won't do anything like that. You can use it before your skincare. Use it, you can use it uh, just to set your makeup. You can use it throughout the day. Uh, and you don't really have to worry about this, like destroying anything on your face. So that's good. Uh, I really like that too. And the last product in this category is Lashes MD Eyelash Eyebrow Conditioner. That's supposed to like make your eye uh, lashes um, grow. Because you know... I still believe that my lashes might look uh, better at some point in my life and to be honest this didn't work for me uh, like at all uh, the only thing so far that worked was Revitalash and that one yeah I mean it's expensive right but it does work this one didn't uh, okay so that leaves us with the last category of today's video which is makeup I have four products here so let me start with this one this is it cosmetics bye bye under eye Illumination, full coverage, anti-aging, waterproof concealer. I really like that one. I really, really like that one. It worked perfectly for me. So I guess I could recommend this for dry skin. Um, uh, yeah, good one. This The one I have is in medium neutral shade. Uh, and uh, I might repurchase. So I really like that and I might repurchase that in the future. Next up, we have something by Mina. This is uh, the cream eyeshadow. I think the shade is 532. This is how it looks. It was probably one of my advent calendars or like boxes. The thing is, it just got really dry and it just, yeah. I mean, I, if I just really wanted to, I could potentially apply it on my lids, but um, but it's like very dry and not necessarily something I kind of want to form, force myself to use. So I'm literally like um, checking this out because uh, I think it just got old. Anyway, we're going to finish this video with two mascaras that I've tried recently and both of them are amazing. I think I tried that one before. This is Caution Extreme Lash Mascara by Hourglass. This one is brilliant. I really like that one. And then we have a Too Faced Apparently Better Than Sex Mascara. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, it was good. It was alright, but I think uh, if we have to uh, compare things, I think the caution was actually uh, better than this one. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, both of them were good enough for me. I used them up. I didn't have to, like, just stop using them because uh, my lashes were invisible. Uh, they were all right. Uh, okay, so that's that. Um, that's uh, These are all the products I used up in the month of April. What do you guys think? Please let me know what you think uh, down in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. For more beauty related content, check those videos here. I'm going to see you very soon in my next video. Take care. Bye.